This is our A100 model, the power cable, the USB data cable. For parameter tour configuration, need to use our USB data cable. The other cable will not work. Now we will ins insert the SIM card and screw it. This is the SIM card. The SIM card's chip side face the contact. Okay. Now we will connect the external power. This is our external power adapter. We will connect the power cable, the red cable and black cable to external power. Red to red. Black black. After connect the external power, we can see the device is on now. Now we will connect to the computer with the USB data cable. Connect to the USB port. Let's connect to the computer, to the USB port. Uh, the parameter tool is used for the device configuration. Before you use the parameter tool, please make sure you have installed the USB cable driver. Uh, if you have not installed the USB cable driver, you can download from our website. The USB cable driver is here. After you install the driver, connect the device to the to your computer with our USB cable. Please make sure the USB cable is from our company. The other USB cable will not work. Then open the parameter tool. Usually, the COM port will be automatically selected. If it's not auto-selected, you can check the COM port from your computer. Here, this PC. Manage. Device Manager. Here, COM. Here we can find it use the COM3. The board array 9600, then click open. Click default. You will get the device default setting. Okay, then click read. We get the default setting. The GPRS page is for device configuration to connect the server. Put your server's IPM port and APN. This APN is your SIM card's APN. You can consult your SIM card operator. Put the APN username and password, if any. If no, please leave it blank. The check ID is the device I name. After setting, click set to make it effective.
The timing upload setting, the default timing interval is 10 seconds. You can change it. Here have four intervals. If you only set timing interval, the device will upload always with this interval. If both ACC off interval and parking interval are set, the ACC off interval will be in priority and the parking interval will be ignored. Please note the digital input table to connect the ACC if you set ACC off interval. Otherwise, the device will be regarded as ACC off always, then it will upload with ACC off interval always. If roaming interval is set, the ACC off interval and parking interval will be ignored. The device upload interval will only depend on the device is at home or abroad. The distance interval is independent from above time interval. If the distance interval is set, for example, we say it's 300 meters, then the device will upload not only with the time interval above, but also upload every 300 meters. Okay, we click set to make it effective. The mail parameter, click read to get the default setting. Heading change 20 it means when the degradation change suddenly over 20 degrees, it will upload a GPS data. Speeding, when the driving speed is over the setting value, it will trick speeding alarm. Star odometer and star run time. Our device GPS data include the odometer and run time. It will count from zero when you first use the device. You can change the, the star odometer and run time accordingly. Fatigue time and relief time are set together. Fatigue time 4 hours and relief time 20 minutes. It means if the vehicle keeps moving over 4 hours and a month there's no rest over 20 minutes, then it will trigger fatigue alarm. It means the driver should take a rest. After the, the driver rest over 20 minutes, Let's say the vehicle passed over 10 minutes, then the fatigue alarm will be relieved. SMS time zone is for configuration of the SMS data. SMS password is needed for the SMS command. You can change it for security. Parking time, if the Vehicle pass over the setting value, it will trick parking a lot. Sleep mode, there's three mode. Normal sleep means when the device enters sleep mode, all the power supply will be turned off except the JSON module. The device uh, will be wake up by the IO trigger, moving, phone call, or SMS. Deep sleep means all the power supply will be turned off. The device only wake up by the I.O. trigger and moving. The phone call and SMS will not work. Here is for the input setting. For our vehicle tracker, usually the input 3 and input 4 are custom. You can set it to positive input or negative input. The LED status is for the GPS light and GSM light. If you uncheck it, then the GPS light and GSM light will be off even when working. Click set to make it effective. The alarm action is for each alarm's action. If the, the action for each alarm should be set uh, one by one. For example, we set SOS alarm. Then when SOS alarm is generated, it will send GPS data to server and send SMS and make two-way call to the authorization number. 
before the SMS and the two-way call, the SOS number should be set. The SMS head is for the SMS data. For example, SMS head you can set help. Then the SMS data for the SOS alarm will start from help. Click set to make it effective. Then you can set the next alarm action. The SOS number setting. Just put your just put your local number. No need to put the country code if the device will not roam to other countries. For example, we set this mobile number and check auto access and position SMS. Then when this mobile number call the tracker, it will be auto answered for communication. And after that, uh, uh, SMS data with the position will be sent to this mobile number. Click set. The terminal information is just to read the device information. Here, here it shows the device firmware version, the hardware version, I mean number, SN, SN number, and the external power and the internal battery. Here you can delete the buffer data. For example, if you check both and click clear, then the device GPS buffer and SMS buffer will be cleared. 